Ryan Reynolds here for, I guess, my hundredth mint commercial. No, 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 don't, no, don't, no. I mean, honestly, when I started this, I thought I'd only have to do like four of these. I mean, it's unlimited premium wireless for $15 a month. How are there still people paying two or three times that much? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be victim blaming here. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash save whenever you're ready. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes. See details. Welcome to Infinite Rabbit Hole, where each episode is a journey into the unknown depths of history and lore. I'm your host, Jeff, and today, we're delving into a topic that straddles the line between myth and science, the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis, and the potential connection to lost ancient advanced civilizations. Envision a world, millennia in the past, where civilizations flourished with advancements that might dwarf our current achievements. Picture sprawling metropolises with intricate architecture, societies wielding technologies and knowledge perhaps lost to time, and cultures rich with philosophical and scientific understanding. In this world, people lived harmoniously with nature, leveraging advanced techniques in agriculture, engineering, and astronomy that we are only beginning to rediscover. Then, imagine a catastrophic event of unimaginable magnitude, a comet impact perhaps, that reshaped the very face of the Earth. The skies darkened, temperatures plummeted, and the once thriving cities and societies were engulfed in chaos and destruction. Great floods swept across continents, earthquakes shattered landscapes, and wildfires blazed through ancient forests. This cataclysmic event didn't just alter the geography, it triggered a domino effect of ecological and societal collapses. Advanced civilizations, which had reached the pinnacle of their development, were suddenly and brutally thrust into the depths of oblivion. Knowledge was lost, and the survivors faced a harsh new world, struggling to rebuild and preserve what little remained of their once great societies. This scenario is not merely a concoction of fiction or fantasy. It could be a forgotten chapter of our own history, a lost epoch buried under layers of earth and time. The traces of these advanced civilizations, their accomplishments and downfall, might still lie hidden, waiting to be unearthed and understood. What secrets do they hold about our past? And what lessons can they teach us about our future? We'll explore the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis, which suggests that a comet impact about 12,800 years ago set off a series of cataclysmic events. We'll also dive into the legends of Atlantis, Lemuria, and other civilizations and discuss how they might fit into this historical puzzle. In our quest, we'll sift through geological findings, analyze climatic data, and consider archaeological discoveries. This journey is not just about exploring theories, but also about understanding the debates and controversies that surround them. Prepare for a mix of hard science and imaginative speculation. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, 
this episode promises to be an intriguing exploration of one of the most fascinating topics in modern archaeology and geology. Understanding the Younger Dryas The Younger Dryas period is a critical juncture in Earth's climatic history, a time that continues to intrigue and puzzle scientists. Roughly 12,800 years ago, just as the planet was emerging from the clutches of the last ice age, an abrupt reversal occurred. The Earth, which had been gradually warming and moving towards a more temperate state, suddenly and inexplicably plunged back into a mini ice age. This dramatic shift lasted approximately 1300 years, marking a stark interruption in the warming trend that had been underway. The onset of the Younger Dryas was as rapid as it was severe, raising numerous questions about its cause and the mechanics driving such a sudden climatic change. Prior to the Younger Dryas, the Earth was steadily warming. Glaciers were retreating, carving out landscapes and reshaping the face of the planet. Sea levels were rising, creating new coastlines and habitats. This was a time of significant ecological rebalancing, with species migrating and adapting to the changing conditions. But then, in what must have seemed like the blink of an eye in geological terms, the warming trend halted. Temperatures across the globe plummeted drastically. The advancing warmth was replaced by renewed and fierce cold. Ice sheets, which had been in retreat, began to advance once again, reclaiming the landscapes they had previously lost. This unexpected shift had profound effects on the planet's ecosystems. Plant and animal species, which had been adapting to a warmer world, suddenly found themselves facing the challenges of survival in a colder and harsher environment. The rapid change disrupted food chains and habitats, leading to widespread extinctions and forcing remaining species to adapt quickly or face a similar fate. For human populations, the impact was equally dramatic. Hunter-gatherer communities, which had been spreading and flourishing in the warmer, more hospitable environment, were suddenly confronted with the challenges of a colder, less forgiving world. The changing climate would have affected the ability to find food and resources, altering migration patterns and potentially leading to conflicts over dwindling supplies. It was a time of upheaval and adaptation, a period that likely played a significant role in shaping the course of human history and development. The Younger Dryas stands as a testament to the planet's capacity for rapid and extreme climate change. Its causes, consequences, and legacy continue to be subjects of intense study and debate among scientists, offering vital insights into Earth's climatic systems and the resilience of its inhabitants. The Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis is a pivotal theory first proposed in 2007. It introduces a dramatic and compelling scenario to explain the abrupt climate reversal that marked the Younger Dryas period. This hypothesis posits that the trigger for the sudden return to the Ice Age conditions was not a gradual climatic shift, but rather an event of cosmic proportions, a comet impact. The theory suggests that around 12,800 years ago, a comet, or possibly a fragmented comet, collided with the Earth. This was not a singular, isolated event. Rather, it involved multiple impacts that occurred almost simultaneously across the globe, with a primary focus in the Northern Hemisphere. The comet in question is theorized to have been of significant size and mass, possibly part of a larger disintegrating comet that had entered Earth's orbit. The fragmentation led to a series of impacts, rather than a single catastrophic collision. The remnants of this comet could have struck various parts of the Earth, unleashing an immense amount of energy equivalent to multiple nuclear explosions. The implications of such an event are profound. The impacts would have generated immense heat, triggering widespread wildfires that would have consumed vast tracts of forest and grassland, 
This would have sent enormous quantities of smoke and ash into the atmosphere, contributing to a nuclear winter effect. The resulting soot and aerosols in the atmosphere would have blocked sunlight, leading to a rapid and severe drop in global temperatures. Additionally, the impacts would have unleashed shockwaves and seismic activities potentially causing massive tsunamis and earthquakes. Evidence supporting this hypothesis includes the discovery of a distinct layer of sediment known as the black mat in various parts of the world, particularly in North America and parts of Europe. This layer, dating to the Younger Dryas boundary, contains anomalies like microspherules, nanodiamonds, and elevated levels of iridium and platinum, which are often associated with extraterrestrial objects. Since its proposal, the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis has been a subject of intense research and debate within the scientific community. Proponents argue that this hypothesis explains not only the climatic anomalies of the Younger Dryas, but also the concurrent mass extinctions and the collapse of early human cultures. Critics, however, point to the lack of a definitive impact crater and the possibility of other explanations for the geological evidence. Ongoing research in fields like geology, paleoclimatology, and archaeology continues to shed light on this theory, gradually piecing together the events that unfolded at the end of the last ice age. The Younger Dryas impact hypothesis offers a dramatic and potentially transformative understanding of a pivotal moment in Earth's history. Its exploration not only challenges our perceptions of the past, but also underscores a profound and lasting effects that extraterrestrial events can have on our planet. Also, we should consider that fragments of this comet probably struck into the two and a half mile thick ice sheet, releasing an untold amount of water, which would have flooded and absolutely destroyed the Northern Hemisphere. This episode is brought to you by United Airlines. When you want to make the most of your vacation, book with United. They're an airline that cares about your travels as much as you do. United is transforming the flying experience with Bluetooth connectivity, screens, power at every seat, and bigger overhead bins to help fit everyone's bag. And with their app, you can skip the bag check line, get live updates, and more. Change the way you fly. Book your next trip today at united.com. This episode is brought to you by Jira. Jira is the only project management tool you need to plan and track work across any team. So if you're a team of developers, Jira better connects you with teams like marketing and design so you have all the information you need in one place. Plus, their AI helps you knock out the small stuff so you can focus on delivering your best work. Get started on your next big idea today in Jira. It feels like you can get your credit scores anywhere these days. Random websites, card statements, budgeting apps, heck, even your dog might bark out a few numbers. It's true, Credit Karma isn't the only place you can find them, but we actually do more with your scores to help you find your next financial opportunity, like a more rewarding credit card, a game plan that helps you pay down debt faster, or a personal loan to help you save more on interest payments each month. Cha-ching! The possibilities are kind of endless. Download Intuit Credit Karma today to get started. To grasp the scale of the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis, one must envision an event of almost incomprehensible magnitude. If a fragmented comet did indeed strike the Earth, the consequences would have been global and catastrophic. The impacts would have generated heat intense enough to ignite massive wildfires, scorching vast expanses of the planet's surface. These fires would have released enormous quantities of smoke and particulates into the atmosphere, creating a massive dust cloud capable of encircling the globe. This could have acted as a barrier, blocking sunlight and dramatically reducing temperatures across the Earth. The immediate aftermath would have seen a rapid and severe climatic shift, plunging the planet back into conditions reminiscent of an ice age. Such an event would have had far-reaching implications for all life on Earth, disrupting ecosystems, 
causing widespread extinctions and profoundly impacting the course of human development and civilization. Despite the compelling narrative presented by the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis, it has not been without its critics and detractors within the scientific community. One of the primary points of contention is the consistency and interpretation of the geological record. Critics argue that the evidence cited in support of the hypothesis, such as the presence of nanodiamonds, microspherules, and elevated levels of rare earth elements like iridium and platinum, can be explained by other, more terrestrial processes. Additionally, some researchers have pointed to the lack of clear, identifiable impact crater or craters, which would be expected from an event of this magnitude. Other scientists have proposed alternative explanations for the climatic anomalies of the Younger Dryas period. One prominent theory suggests that the sudden cooling could have been the result of significant changes in ocean currents, particularly the disruption of the thermohyaline circulation, say that 10 times fast, which plays a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate. Another alternative explanation points to volcanic activity, with massive eruptions releasing enough ash and particulates into the atmosphere to trigger a similar cooling effect. This debate highlights the complexities and challenges inherent in reconstructing Earth's climatic and geological history. The Younger Dryas impact hypothesis, while providing a tantalizing explanation for a number of concurrent environmental and archaeological phenomena, remains a topic of active research and discussion. New discoveries and advancements in technology continually add layers of understanding, sometimes supporting and other times challenging the prevailing theories. What remains clear is the significance of the Younger Dryas period in shaping both the natural world and human history, and the importance of continuing to explore and question our understanding of this pivotal epoch. The profound and abrupt environmental upheavals of the Younger Dryas period set the stage for an intriguing exploration into the realms of ancient myths and lost civilizations. This was a time of dramatic change on a global scale, with the potential to have left an undeniable mark on human history. Across cultures and continents, there are enduring legends and myths that speak of great floods, cataclysmic events, and lost lands. These stories passed down through generations are often dismissed as mere folklore or allegory. However, the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis invites us to reconsider these tales. Could these narratives, which share striking similarities despite their diverse origins, be echoes of real events that occurred in our distant past? From the biblical account of Noah's Ark to the Sumerian epic of Gilgamesh, from the Greek legend of Atlantis to the stories of a deluge in Native American oral traditions, the motif of a great flood is a recurring theme. These stories frequently describe advanced civilizations or utopian societies that were lost to a cataclysmic event. The similarities in these accounts, despite arising from independent cultures and geographical locations, suggest a common experiential basis that transcends mere coincidence. If the Younger Dryas period was indeed initiated by a comet impact, the resulting environmental catastrophes could feasibly have led to the downfall of advanced civilizations that existed at the time. The rapid climate change, rising sea levels, and ensuing chaos would have posed insurmountable challenges to these societies. This hypothesis offers a potential explanation for the sudden disappearance or decline of sophisticated cultures known from archaeological records, such as the Clovis people in North America. While direct archaeological evidence linking specific ancient civilizations to the Younger Dryas event remains elusive, there are tantalizing clues. Sites like Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, which predate Stonehenge by thousands of years, indicate that complex societies existed far earlier 
than mainstream archaeology has traditionally acknowledged. Could these societies have been victims of the Younger Dryas Cataclysm? The advanced nature of their construction, astronomical alignments, and the mysterious abandonment of these sites lend credence to the possibility that they were part of a larger, now lost, civilization. This line of inquiry challenges us to reevaluate our understanding of human history. The traditional narrative of a linear progression from primitive hunter-gatherers to advanced civilizations may be an oversimplification. The possibility that advanced societies could have existed and then been virtually wiped out by a global cataclysm during the Younger Dryas opens the door to a more complex, cyclical view of human development. It compels us to look at ancient myths not just as stories, but as potential historical records, preserving the memory of real events that shaped the course of human civilization. The drastic changes of the Younger Dryas period invite us to explore the intersection of scientific hypothesis with ancient myths and legends. This exploration not only enriches our understanding of our past, but also reminds us of the fragility and resilience of human civilizations throughout history. Let's get into some of the evidence. The geological evidence supporting the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis is both intriguing and compelling, found in a distinct layer of sediment that is consistently present across vast geographical expanses. This sedimentary layer, neatly coinciding with the timeline of the Younger Dryas boundary, has been identified in diverse locations across North America, Europe, and parts of Asia. Its uniform presence across such a wide range of sites suggests a global event of significant magnitude. One of the most notable features of this sediment layer is the abundance of nanodiamonds. These microscopic diamonds are not typical geological formations. They are formed under conditions of extreme pressure and heat far beyond what is usually found on the Earth's surface. The presence of these nanodiamonds across multiple continents points towards a single high energy event capable of generating such intense conditions on a global scale. This is a key piece of evidence supporting the theory of a comet impact. As such, an event would release energy on a scale sufficient to produce these nanodiamonds. In addition to nanodiamonds, this sediment layer contains other unusual materials that bolster the hypothesis of a cosmic impact. This includes microspherules, magnetic grains, and high levels of rare elements like iridium and platinum, which are more commonly associated with extraterrestrial objects like comets and asteroids. The uniform distribution and composition of these materials in the sediment layer further reinforce the idea of a widespread catastrophic event. The investigation of the sediment layer has been a multidisciplinary effort involving geologists, climatologists, archaeologists, and astrophysicists. By analyzing the sediment's composition, distribution, and age, scientists have been piecing together the story of what happened during the Younger Dryas period. The evidence points towards a sudden, violent event that aligns with the timeline and characteristics of the proposed comet impact. The discovery and analysis of this sediment layer have significant implications for our understanding of Earth's history. It suggests that our planet has been subject to catastrophic events of extraterrestrial origin, which have had profound impacts on its environment and life forms. This geological fingerprint not only provides evidence for the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis, but also opens up new avenues of inquiry into the history of climatic and ecological changes on Earth. In essence, the geological fingerprints found in the sediment layer corresponding to the Younger Dryas boundary offer compelling evidence of a massive 
high energy impact event. The presence of nanodiamonds and other anomalous materials across various continents provides a tangible link to an event of cosmic proportions, reshaping our understanding of a critical period in Earth's history. Ice cores extracted from the deep ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica serve as one of the most informative and revealing sources of climatic data available to scientists. These cores are essentially time capsules, containing within them layers of ice that have accumulated year after year, trapping air bubbles and particulates that offer a snapshot of the Earth's atmosphere at various points in history. By analyzing these ice cores, scientists can reconstruct a detailed climatic history of the planet going back hundreds of thousands of years. One of the most striking findings from ice core analysis is the evidence of a rapid shift in temperature correlating with the Younger Dryas period. This data shows that after a prolonged warming trend that marked the end of the last ice age, the Earth's climate abruptly cooled down. This cooling event was not gradual, but occurred rapidly, over decades rather than centuries, suggesting a sudden and dramatic change in the planet's climatic conditions. In addition to temperature changes, ice core data also reveals shifts in atmospheric composition during the Younger Dryas period. There are noticeable changes in the levels of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane, such variations in atmospheric gases are significant as they directly influence the Earth's climate. The data indicates that these changes were abrupt and pronounced, aligning with the timeline proposed by the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis. The hypothesis suggests that a comet impact would have had immediate and far-reaching effects on the Earth's climate primarily due to the injection of massive amounts of dust and particulates into the atmosphere. These particulates would have blocked sunlight, leading to a rapid cooling of the planet. The ice core data supports this, showing a clear and abrupt climatic shift that coincides with the period when the comet impact is theorized to have occurred. The study of ice cores in relation to the Younger Dryas period not only provides evidence supporting the impact hypothesis, but also enhances our understanding of how sensitive and responsive the Earth's climate system can be to external forces. These findings underscore the importance of studying past climatic events to better understand the potential impacts of current and future changes in Earth's climate. The climatic data derived from ice cores in Greenland and Antarctica is a crucial piece of the puzzle in understanding the Younger Dryas period. This data not only illustrates the rapid and significant climatic shifts that occurred, but also aligns with and lends credence to the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis, offering vital insights into the dynamics of Earth's climate system. Despite these findings, the hypothesis is not universally accepted. Critics argue that the evidence could be interpreted in other ways, and some key markers of impact events like a consistent crater are missing. The cataclysmic climate changes that marked the Younger Dryas period hold significant implications for the fate of contemporary civilizations. Such a drastic shift in the global environment as proposed by the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis would have been more than enough to destabilize even the most advanced societies of the time. The rapid onset of colder temperatures, along with the ecological and geographical upheavals, could have directly contributed to the sudden disappearance or marked decline of civilizations that were flourishing prior to this event. As we delve into the archaeological records, we uncover hints and clues of societies that may have been profoundly impacted by these dramatic environmental changes. Across various archaeological sites, there are patterns of sudden abandonment, unexplained population declines, and shifts in settlement patterns that coincide with the Younger Dryas period. These patterns suggest that these societies were either forced to migrate in search of more hospitable environments or, in more tragic cases, were completely wiped out. 
One of the most compelling examples is the fate of the Clovis culture, a prehistoric Paleo-Indian culture that was widespread across North America. Around the onset of the Younger Dryas, evidence of Clovis tools and settlements abruptly disappears from the archaeological record. This sudden vanishing act aligns with the timeline of the proposed comet impact and subsequent climatic shift, suggesting a possible link between this cultural disappearance and the environmental catastrophes of the period. This pattern is not limited to North America. In Europe, the Middle East, and other parts of the world, there are archaeological indications of significant societal disruptions during the Younger Dryas. These include changes in tool-making styles, shifts in hunting practices, and even the emergence of new types of settlements, all indicative of societies adapting to a rapidly changing environment. Beyond the tangible archaeological evidence, there are also intriguing connections to be made with various myths and oral traditions from around the world. Many cultures have legends describing great floods, fires from the sky, or other catastrophic events that led to the downfall of great kingdoms or the loss of advanced knowledge. While these stories have often been dismissed as mere folklore, the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis gives us a framework to reevaluate these tales as potential historical accounts of real events. The cataclysmic environmental shifts of the Younger Dryas period offer a plausible explanation for the sudden disappearance or decline of advanced civilizations around this time. The archaeological record, coupled with mythological narratives, provides compelling evidence of widespread societal disruptions that align with the proposed timeline and nature of these climatic events. This intriguing correlation invites a deeper exploration into the relationship between environmental catastrophes and the rise and fall of ancient societies. Starbucks Iced Apple Crisp Oat Milk Shake and Espresso. Made with blonde espresso, creamy oat milk, and spiced apple flavors. It's an icy crisp sip you can enjoy all autumn long. Order ahead on the Starbucks app. Let's talk about the legend of Atlantis. Plato's Atlantis stands as the most iconic of all lost civilizations in human lore. Described by Plato as an island nation situated beyond the pillars of Hercules, Atlantis is depicted as a society that achieved unparalleled heights in technology and moral philosophy. According to the legend, Atlantis was endowed with magnificent architecture advanced engineering, and a complex system of canals and bridges reflecting a society that had mastered the art of harnessing natural forces. The Atlanteans are said to have possessed knowledge in various sciences, including astronomy, mathematics, and technology that by Plato's account far surpassed that of his contemporaneous world. Additionally, Atlantis was characterized by a harmonious social structure and a judicious political system centered around a benevolent kingship. However, as the legend goes, the Atlanteans became morally corrupt over time, leading to their downfall. The island was said to have been swallowed by the seas in a single day and night of misfortune, an event that has captivated imaginations and spurred countless theories regarding its historical authenticity and possible location. How about Lemuria, another mythical land often associated with lost civilizations, stands as a symbol of a spiritually advanced society. The concept of Lemuria first arose in the 19th century as a hypothesized landmass in the Indian Ocean, proposed by scientists to explain certain biological similarities between Africa and India. However, over time, Lemuria evolved in popular and theosophical literature to represent a lost continent home to an ancient, enlightened civilization. This civilization is often depicted as having profound spiritual knowledge and being in harmony with the natural world, possessing insights that modern humanity has yet to uncover. Similar to the story of Atlantis, 
Lemuria is believed to have faced a catastrophic end, resulting in its disappearance and the loss of its advanced knowledge. These myths of lost civilizations are not confined to just Atlantis and Lemuria. Many other cultures around the world have their versions of such legends. For instance, the ancient city of Dwarka, mentioned in Hindu texts, is described as a grand city of splendid palaces and a rich spiritual heritage, which was submerged by the sea. In Native American traditions, there are stories of a great flood that reshaped the land and led to the loss of ancestral homes and wisdom. These stories, while varied in their details and cultural contexts, share common themes of advanced societies, cataclysmic events, and the sudden loss of knowledge and progress. These legends from Atlantis to Lemuria and beyond embody the human fascination with the idea of advanced ancient civilizations that met tragic ends. Whether these stories are viewed as pure myth, allegory, or as holding kernels of historical truth, they continue to influence our understanding of history and fuel ongoing explorations into our past. The enduring allure of these tales speak to a collective human yearning to connect to our ancient heritage and to uncover the mysteries of civilizations lost to time. Advocates of the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis include figures like Graham Hancock, argue for a direct connection between this dramatic period of climatic upheaval and the downfall of ancient advanced civilizations. They propose that the catastrophic environmental changes brought on by the Younger Dryas, sudden global cooling, drastic shifts in weather patterns, and consequent ecological disasters could have been the driving forces behind the rapid decline or complete vanishing of these societies. The hypothesis posits that these civilizations crumbled under the weight of such cataclysmic changes. The remnants of their existence faded into the realm of legend. Over time, their histories were distilled into myths and oral traditions we know today like those of Atlantis and Lemuria. These stories passed down through generations may be more than mere fables. They could be diluted echoes of real, lost civilizations that once thrived on Earth. The discovery of archaeological sites like Gobekli Tepe in Turkey provides a tangible challenge to the conventional timelines of human development. Gobekli Tepe predating Stonehenge by several millennia is an enigma that suggests advanced societal organization, architectural skill, and possibly even astronomical knowledge long before what is traditionally expected. The sophisticated nature of this site, characterized by intricately carved megalithic structures and evidence of complex social rituals, implies that societies with advanced capabilities might have existed much earlier than mainstream archaeology has previously acknowledged, possibly even during the last Ice Age. This revelation opens up the possibility that what we understand as the dawn of civilization might in fact be a reawakening after a period of decline or dormancy caused by the Younger Dryas events. Mainstream archaeological perspectives often view sites like Gobekli Tepe as isolated anomalies, unconnected to a broader narrative of human history. However, when viewed through the lens of the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis, these sites gain new significance. They could potentially be the remnants of lost civilizations that were impacted by the Younger Dryas cataclysm. This perspective suggests that rather than being the first of their kind, these sites might actually represent the surviving fragments of once thriving societies that were nearly erased from history by environmental catastrophes. The gaps and inconsistencies in our historical record and archaeological records, therefore, become an invitation for further exploration and speculation. They encourage the re-examination of human history, taking into account the possibility that our ancestors may have achieved levels of societal 
and technological advancement far earlier than previously thought, only to be set back by a global cataclysm. In essence, the connections drawn between the Younger Dryas and the legends of lost ancient civilizations, coupled with the enigmatic nature of archaeological sites predating conventional historical timelines, invites a profound reconsideration of human history. These perspectives challenge us to look beyond the accepted narratives and consider the possibility of advanced ancient societies that might have risen and fallen in response to dramatic environmental shifts. Now, before I let you guys go, I'm going to kind of shoot from the hip here. I want to point out a few things that I didn't really write up in my script for this episode. Things that you can kind of go and look up, do some research on, because to be honest with you, this topic is huge. There is so much information, there is so much scientific data to kind of support this theory. I can't put it all into one episode. It, it just wouldn't happen. So I, I want you guys to think about the fact that Earth, if space is real, <laughs> Earth travels through what's known as the Torrid Meteor Stream twice a year. This chunk of debris in space that we fly through is the remnants of a comet that broke up and dispersed long ago. We go through this torrid meteor stream twice a year, like I said, and you can see meteor showers when this happens. And if you kind of piece together the timelines uh, from uh, Solon's story of Atlantis, you can actually date this back to the Younger Dryas period. Now, how is it that 9,000 years ago, Solon knew of this event before science actually uncovered this data in recent time? It's kind of mind-blowing. So either something did happen and the knowledge was passed down and, and he got wind of it much later, or he just guessed and was right on the money. I don't know, but it makes you wonder. There's a lot of other evidence as well. You can look at the scab lands in North America. Randall Carlson has done some really good work. He's a, a geologist who has studied this for decades. Uh, I highly suggest anybody go and, and listen to Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson. Uh, you can even find them on Joe Rogan numerous times going through this whole thing with slideshows and pictures and showing all the evidence that I'm talking about. Uh, Graham Hancock has a great book about this as well. So I highly suggest going and looking at those guys and looking at their work. Um, the uh, Comet Research Group, they, they've got a lot of evidence to kind of support this theory as well. There's a lot there. Um, maybe I'll do another episode on this at some point in the future and kind of break down all the, the nitty gritties in the data and the timelines and that kind of thing. I want you guys to look at this episode as more of an introduction to this idea um, and kind of open your minds to the possibility that ancient civilizations might have been much more advanced than what we've been taught. There's certain people, I don't want to mention any names, uh, especially in Egyptology, that really hold tight to the mainstream narrative of civilization. And, you know, when did we start coming up with astronomy and math and all this kind of stuff. And to be honest with you, I have a big feeling that those guys are just kind of dug in because this is how they make their living and have been for decades. There's a lot that I can't really go over in this episode, but I promise you guys, I will come back with something for you. As we conclude today's episode, I encourage you, our listeners, to embrace an open-minded approach to these fascinating topics. The theories and ideas we've discussed represent a blend of established scientific facts and speculative historical interpretations. They remind us that our understanding of the past is not static, but is a continually evolving tapestry woven from new discoveries and perspectives. The past of our planet and our species is filled with mysteries and unanswered questions. Approaching these mysteries with a balance of curiosity and critical thinking is essential. It allows us to entertain groundbreaking ideas while rigorously evaluating the evidence. 
History, as we know, is often stranger and more complex than fiction. And the truth about our past might be waiting just around the corner, hidden in the layers of earth or encoded in the myths passed down through generations. Our exploration into these ancient enigmas does not end here. It's an ongoing journey, inviting us to be a part of unraveling the mysteries that lie in the depths of our past. Today's episode of The Infinite Rabbit Hole has taken us through a tapestry of scientific inquiry and ancient lore, urging us to look beyond the known and to question what lies beneath the surface of our historical understanding. The journey through the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis and the stories of lost civilizations encourages us not just to seek answers, but to cherish the questions themselves for they propel us forward in our endless quest to understand our origins and our planet's history. I'm Jeff, your guide through the infinite rabbit hole. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the unknown. Keep pondering, keep questioning, and remember, the truth might just be waiting to be discovered. I would like to thank you once again for tuning in to the Infinite Rabbit Hole Podcast. Please make sure to give us a follow and one of those beautiful five-star ratings on your podcast player of choice. If you would like to join the conversation and stay up to date on all things Infinite Rabbit Hole, head on over to Facebook and search for the Infinite Rabbit Hole Facebook group. You'll know it's us when you see the logo. If you would like to help contribute to the cause, there are a few ways to do so. First, head on over to anchor.fm forward slash infinite rabbit hole and click on the subscribe button where for $5 a month you'll get access to all our old episodes that will never see the free spotlight ever again. It's horrible stuff, but if you're into that kind of thing, then go check it out. Second, head on over to infiniterabbithole.com and click on the IRH merch shop tab and grab yourself a sweet t-shirt, sticker, or whatever else you see that you wouldn't mind owning. Until next time, travelers, I'm Jeremy, and I'll see you at the next fork in the path of the infinite rabbit hole. Bye.